Hey guys, Rusu here. Last video I did update my Home Assistant to the latest version. Updating is not only important for security, it also helps our integrations to keep working at the latest integrations and all the other toys they introduce. Of course, nobody's going to check Supervisor and Hex on a daily basis to see if there are any updates pending. So in this video we're going to do two things. We're going to add sensors to our dashboard, so we have a clear view on what's pending, and we're going to put some notifications, so we get notified when there is an update pending. First things first, you need to make sure the update sensor is available. Either you need to have the default config, or the updater in your configuration file. If you haven't, put either of those in, and we start Home Assistant. For the notifications later, we have two options. Either we use the notification area over here, or we use an integration with our service that we choose. Because there are so many available, I'm just going to stick with the notification area. Of course, you can set up whatever notification service you want and use that one. Okay, let's go to our overview page and our system page. Now let's add a new card with some entities. Put the updater in there and the hex sensor. This way we have a clear view. There are zero pending updates for hex at the moment and no updates available for Home Assistant. For the automations, both the people at hex and Home Assistant have us covered. For hex, you can just copy and paste the notifications or the automations, that is, and it will put notifications in here. However, the Home Assistant one is using the Notify service. I did change that. Let's have a look how it looks. So if we go to our automations, we can see the two hex automations over here. These are a direct copy and paste from the website. For the Home Assistant update one, I just edited the data template and I changed the service into a persistent notification. After we change those, we go to configuration, server controls, check configuration, and reload the automation if it's valid. Now we can test if it works. For hex, an easy way is to go into hex, go to integrations, just pick any you want, of course I pick a bad one, just pick another one, make sure you don't have the latest version selected. And install it. A notification should pop up soon. For the Home Assistant, we can also go into Services, Automation.Trigger, and Update Available. Let's call that Service. And we can see a service for a pending update, and dismiss it. And there is our Hex notification as well. Hope you find this useful, and enjoy. Bye.